Hi everyone, today I thought I'd talk about um, the feeling of shame that um, I sometimes feel um, when telling someone or admitting to them that I'm an atheist. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not ashamed of being an atheist myself, however I do feel like society makes me feel like I should be, makes me feel like I'm a lesser person for not believing in or belonging to a particular religion and makes me a bad person for doing so. Now I think this mostly stems from the idea that you can't have morals or care about other people unless you're religious, which as we know is completely ridiculous and false, seeing as though um, our morals did not come from religion but uh, were instead developed over millions of years to help um, humanity survive. Uh, we would not survive without caring for others and uh, altruism and group behavior and all that jazz, but I'm sure you already know that. However, there does still seem to be a very bad stigma attached to atheists. A, because we are in the minority. B, because it's a social norm to still be religious now. And C, it's still a social norm to look down on others um, with regards to what they believe or do not believe. Now, I have talked about this before. I do have many, um, let's say, outspoken t-shirts. Um, I think last time I counted, I have over 10. Um, it's kind of my addiction, um, online shopping for um, funny t-shirts with culturally relevant messages, memes, and um, most of them are atheisty, sciencey, or referencing a sciencey TV show. Um, and I wear them um, a lot. It's basically my wardrobe during summer. Um, but I tend to think twice about where and when I wear them. Um, I wear them around the house fine because it's just my family. I wear my pyjamas around the house because it's my family. But with regards to going out, I do get some odd looks from people. And I'm not wearing the t-shirt to get a reaction from people. I mean, that's a nice bonus. But I personally enjoy the message on the t-shirt and it makes me happy to see it on me. I find them funny and amusing or uh, pretty or all the other um, describing words you can think of. Um, but there is still a bit of, it's unfair because if you were to go out and wear a t-shirt that says I love Jesus or a t-shirt from your church or whatever, um, then people would have no problem with you. I mean, I might laugh at you behind your back because I think it's ridiculous to belong to a church like that, but no one will look down on you. The difference in wearing a sciencey or atheist shirt, which is basically saying religion is bullshit, is that um, people will kind of turn their nose down at you. I mean, it's not just t-shirts, it's um, billboards, ads, bus ads, um, TV ads, everything you can think of in the media, there is more uproar about putting an atheist billboard up than there is about a billboard for Jesus or a church. But why? It's because there is still shame associated with atheism. There is still fear. Fear is definitely a big thing. If you're not afraid of something, then you're not going to campaign to have it come down. Now for younger atheists or older ones who have yet to uh, come out of the atheist closet, this creates a vicious circle because if they are too scared or ashamed to come out of their atheist closet and then they see that people in the public and in society are angry at and do not like atheist messages, then it makes them retreat even further back into the closet, which creates the vicious cycle of shame. And obviously we do not want this because um, I think the more that we can get the message out there that you don't have to belong to a religion or you don't have to believe in a higher being to be a good person, I think the better society will be. So I guess basically what I'm saying is don't be ashamed to express yourself. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do like to tattoo, pierce and colour myself. Uh, that has nothing to do with my atheism. However, I 
do not think that that would be allowed in some religions. So I'm glad I do not belong to them. But don't be ashamed of what you believe in, in terms of morals, ideas, um, everything like that, ideas about life or things you don't believe in. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you want to hear any more of my um, inane, probably very dull thoughts, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Fear Blandness. I'm nearly at a thousand followers. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's nothing. But to me, that's huge because I can't believe that five people, let alone nearly a thousand, actually enjoy what I write on there. Uh, so yeah, hop onto Twitter and follow me or just hit me up in comments and messages. I love hearing for you, from you guys and I try to reply to everyone now that I'm somewhat on, ho on holidays. I will be making more videos and have more time to write more blogs. Um, I'm featuring in uh, Martin Pribble's blog which I will give you the details for later and um, might be featuring on the Young Australian Skeptics blog website. So that will be pretty cool. So keep your eyes peeled for me. Um, I'll let you guys know where some of my other work is going if you want to read it. If not, then don't. But yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you later. See ya.